Hey, as we're finishing out the rest of 2021, if you live in the Orlando area or are considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this video. We're gonna talk about what's happening in the market and what I suspect is gonna happen in 2022. That is coming up next. What's up everybody, it's Matt Allen here with the Allen team. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you are new to my station, I try to provide as much information about Central Florida, Orlando, Florida real estate for buyers, sellers, anybody relocating here, first time home buyers. We do VA home loan videos. So we kind of hit the gamut of things. So I appreciate you watching. If, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. That way you'll be notified the next video I do. And I try to upload a video just about every week. Today's video, we're closing out 2021. And I wanted to kind of give you kind of a bird's eye view of all the craziness happening here in the Orlando area, but also kind of give you what my thoughts are moving into 2022. So without further delay, I'm going to start, I'm going to get us hooked up with the MLS so you can kind of see what some of the numbers are. And then I'm going to talk about them as we go along. All right, so we're up here on the MLS, and I've already gone ahead and put in some criteria. Um, I put in some zip codes. I'm going to primarily stick to the Southwest Orlando area, which you can kind of see on this map is basically Southwest of downtown Orlando. It includes Windermere, Dr. Phillips, Winter Garden, a little bit of Metro West, um, and whatnot. So I I wanted to put that criteria in already, so we. Didn't waste a lot of time. If you look here, this is the matches. You've got 152 matches, meaning right now in one, two, three, four, five, six zip codes, you have only 152 homes on the market for sale. I'm just gonna look at them real fast so you can see kind of where they start. Just make sure I have this in the right order. So they're starting at 389. Um, 389 for a very small 1385 square foot, two bedroom, two bath in Granada Villas. Um, yeah, that those houses are now almost 400,000. So, um, and then, you know, it's, it's crazy to me that, you know, three pages in, you're already at $1.1 million. So this is where, a lot of the houses are starting to fall is between that 850 to you know 1.1 1.2 in this area yes it is a more expensive area but housing prices have definitely jumped here even over the last few months um 3.3 uh, 3.395 and then golden oak there's a 16 million and if you want to look at a really good, nice, big house, there's one for $25 million in Cypress Point. Anyway, so the most important part of this whole thing is I want to show you what the pendings is showing. Now, typically, pendings are going to be a lot less than single-family homes. In this circumstance, it's 287 home matches, so it's more than... What is currently on the on, on the market active, and what is that telling us? Essentially, that houses are going much faster than they're they're being listed for. They're going, you know, they're only on the market a very short amount of time. So that's kind of generally what is happening. Um, and then if we go to sold, sold over the last 180 days, you know, we've sold 1,352 houses, um, which is again showing that. We have very little inventory. Whatever is on the market is going extremely fast. Um, days on the market is very short, typically within a seven to 10 day period. And, and they're going under contract or even sooner than that. If they're moving ready, it's usually one to three days or so. Um, but yeah, that, that kind of gives you the overview of what is happening currently in the market. Now, the other thing you can look at and is an option sometimes for buyers is look at the new construction. Uh, although the MLS does carry a lot of new construction, it doesn't always give a full picture of what's happening in the new construction realm. And I'm going to give you a real life example of this. Over the weekend, 
I was out with a, a very good customer of mine that uh, was looking to purchase a new construction home. We're in that four hundred to five hundred thousand price range. Just just so you know, kind of where we we're at with with price point. Um, we walked in. They had a move-in ready house just by chance. Um, but how this builder does things, and, and most builders, to be perfectly honest with you, um, they actually require the buyer to submit an offer on that particular house. Now, in the olden days, we used to go in, we could pick a lot, pick the house, pick all the upgrades, things like that. And, and nowadays, it's this is the one house we have available. Make an offer to us on it. And then at the end of the weekend, we will look at all offers that were submitted. Not knowing quite how many offers were going to be put in, uh, we submitted a very good over their list price offer. Um, found out late on Sunday night that they were actually had nine offers on the table on this particular home. Um, we were not selected, unfortunately. Um, someone else had put down a, a larger deposit, which made the, the difference. But um, that kind of tells you what's happening in the new construction realm, which is essentially the same as the resale. So unfortunately, you know, my prediction moving into 2022 is is more of the same. And I hate to say that because everybody wants to say, oh, there's going to be a change. It's going to slow down. As long as we have this buyer demand where people are having to move or having to buy houses and we're having a huge relocation of Disney employees uh, from California are moving here uh, very soon or already have started, my understanding. Um, and we still have a huge influx coming in from New York, upstate New York, New York City, uh, California, Chicago. With the limited inventory, the only way this is going to change is if we have a large influx of properties that go on the market. So if you are looking to sell your house, let me know. But essentially, I think most of, of 2022 is going to be much of the same. They're saying interest rates are going to climb here over the next year, uh, but they're still extremely low. So even if they were to climb in the four and a half, uh, range three and a half, four and a half range. You know, I think we're still have very good interest rates. So that's my predictions for 2022. I know it's not that exciting. I'm hoping more properties come on the market to allow us to slow down a little bit on the multiple offer, way over asking price, give up my appraisal, give up my firstborn, give up everything, pay for you know, the seller's college education and all sorts of stories I've heard, but um, hopefully that'll slow down a little bit, but we're still going to have quite a demand in 2022. Thanks for watching this. If you are uh, have any questions or need additional information, you want me to pull a report from a specific area, let's say you're looking in Winter Garden or uh, Winter Park. Um, I've been in real estate here in Central Florida since 2002. So I have 20 years of experience in just about every area throughout Central Florida. So I'm happy to help. Have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, if you like that video, check out this video over here. It's on common real estate questions I get all the time. I think it'll be a useful video for you. Thanks.